wanted to give you an update on my laser uh, enclosure. So this was the one I got from Laser Packer. And it's really, it's a great enclosure, but it's just, unfortunately, in my opinion, it's not big enough. I mean, it's fine if you're doing small stuff all the time. What, but what became really annoying for me in my shop was that this just wasn't big enough. I rarely had things in there that I could fit entirely in in that enclosure. So I was always having to leave the door open and things like that. And then the, uh, the little hood that it comes with is even smaller. Uh, now that's great if you have to take it mobile to do something or if you're going to hand hold it somewhere. I mean, you, you definitely want to have that. And these are nice options to have. <clears throat> but I decided that I needed something better because I've been doing... Uh, things on the slide extension. I've been doing big uh, charcuterie board uh, slate maps and I've been doing tumblers and things like that. So I decided to find a better enclosure and I found this one and it was a hard search because the majority of uh, vented tents are for a different style laser. They're for the lasers that that run back and forth on a track and not so much for one that's uh, like this one which is like a, a reminds me of a photography uh, enlarger that just shoots down and the laser moves back and forth so what I looked for was enclosures that were for uh, fiber lasers because fiber lasers are very similar to this style laser and I found this one and I'm really really happy with it so it was very easy to put together. It's basically an aluminum frame. It's got a fire retardant. I believe this is fiberglass on the inside. And they showed a guy holding a flame to it and it doesn't catch fire. It has a uh, vent hose, which is a three inch vent hose on it. It's got some little pouches on the sides. It came with this light. So you can see I got a little light inside there that I can turn on and turn off and what I added to it was I added this little fan to help blow stuff towards where the vent pipe is but also to help keep clean the item being um, lasered so other lasers have what they call an air assist but air assists are attached to the laser head and it's usually on the lasers I told you about that go all the way that they move over the object being lasered but you can't really use a air assist on here because the beam moves and you would have to be able to follow the beam uh, but what I did instead was just get a fan this little fan which is a uh, variable speed it was not expensive at all I'll put links to all this stuff in the description of the video uh, it's nice and quiet it's got these little rubber bumpers on it so I just uh, put the fan in here and I can move it wherever I want it and it works really really great and the other thing I liked about it was that this one has a nice big window and they also gave you uh, some protective uh, coating that you could attach to it for now this just uh, I believe this one is only good for the blue light laser uh, now my laser has um, an infrared on it too I'm not sure how much protection this gives from that, but I'm not super concerned about that anyway. My main reason is I wanted the smoke and fumes and stuff out of here because I have real good uh, laser protective glasses if I need to look inside and see what's going on. So that's the uh, new enclosure. I'll put the link, like I said, in the video, but this has worked out great because you can see I got my rotary tool in here and I can even fit my extension in here and work everything right in here it's big enough that i can use it all of those tools inside of here and have it completely closed down and suck all the fumes out uh, which i could not do before so anytime i went to use the rotary or went to use the extension table i had to take everything out of the little orange glass one that i showed you and just use the whole laser open in the air and 
I just decided, you know what, I don't want to do that. I think this is a far better option. Uh, and especially since I'm working in a shop, I have the room for it. So that's what I went with. And I just wanted to share that with you. Um, so I will leave links to the little fan to this enclosure and I'm still using uh, the same uh, venting system that I showed you before but I'll put links to that in there too uh, in case you haven't seen it before but it's this Vivisun this was not expensive at all uh, it's a this is a four inch fan so you, I did have to do a reducer on it for the uh, hoses I had uh, they were pretty easy to get also on Amazon so the, the enclosure comes with a three inch I had to do a three inch uh, reducer right here into this four inch and then I have the four inch going into there and then I actually did another reducer uh, because I had a lot of I think this is two and a half inch hose yeah I don't remember if this is two and a half or three inch but you know you could do once you do the reduction you could do four inch all the way if you want I just happened to have smaller hose that wasn't being used, so I didn't want to waste it, so I figured I'd, I would use it with the fan. Uh, other things that I did uh, that just came to mind that I'll show you real quick, too, is I have my fan hooked to a remote switch. This thing was only like 10 bucks, but I can hit this, and it turns the vent fan off and I can hit it and turn it on because those vent fans most of them just plug in and that way I don't have to go and uh, plug it in and unplug it every time I can just turn it on from here and it had some nice little pockets so I put some other uh, remotes that I have in my shop in here on that side and I think I showed you this uh, side too I got this what would you call it socket holder over here uh, which has some it has a, uh, a 20 volt is it or or what 20 watt type C connector for like the iPhones and then it's got a bunch of regular USB cables down here too and that's pretty much it so that's my new uh, vent hood setup for the uh, laser pecker 4 I did also order a new laser a X tool s1 uh, it's not here yet it's supposed to get here the end of this week i will uh, show you that when i get that and that is a big fully enclosed bed style laser that can cut wood so i'm really excited about that and i will uh, show you more when that comes in so that's the update and i hope that helps some of you out there and like i said Look in the description of the YouTube video for links to uh, the things I mentioned here. And I will also have them on my website at alxsharpen.com. I will add those links into the laser section where I have all the different links to the uh, laser stuff that I use in my shop. Have a great day, everybody.